Yalimada Tapa, I'm late, sorry. You're not Yalimada. 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 Our past Kush minute, hai, right? All right, let me do some zikr. Bismillah Rahman Ibrahim. Molai Mehrban, Madat Sarma. Al Hai, 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 Rabbana Atmim Lana Noor Na Wakfir Lana Innak Ala Kulli Shain Kadir Rabbana Atmim Lana Noor Na Wakfir Lana Innak Ala Kulli Shain Kadir Rabbana Atmim Lana Nurna Wakfir Lana Inna Kala Kulli Shain Kadir Rabbi Zidini Ilma 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 Hasbun Allah Wunikmal Wakil Wunikmal Mola Wunikmal Nasi Hasbun Allah Wunikmal Wakil Wunikmal Mola Wunikmal Nasi Shukran Allah Alhamdulillah Shukran Allah Alhamdulillah Nain Saba Young good friends, um, as you all know that we are almost about to be at the end of the book session. So we are trying to do a few verses summary. Um, so we'll call the friends and then friends can come forward and um, talk about their understanding. So we're going to go ahead and start with whoever is lined so far. Um, Jasmine Saba, are you there? Yes. Okay. Will you go ahead and start with the worst? The light of Pandar Kim, Ali Allah, Madat Farma. Al-Wahidul Kahar Ali Alamadat Farma. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I have um, uh, chapter three, Ali Imran, verse one zero three. And hold fast all together by the rope which Allah, and be not divided among yourselves. And remember with gratitude Allah's favor on you. For you were enemies, and he joined your hearts in love so that by his grace, you became brethren, and you were on the brink of the pit of fire, and he saved you from it. Thus Allah makes his sign clear to you that you may be guided. So um, if you look at the transliteration of this on the, uh, on the book, on the verse 103, it says in the Quran, what the simo Bihablillahi. So Tatsimo, what the Simo stands for hold fast um, to the rope of Imam and be united and not to be disunited. So the rope here stands for the light of intellect. It, it, it's, um, it's a Tawil, Tawili understanding that I got from the lecture. Um, it's that it's the light of intellect which is hidden and exalted in the personality of our Imam. Imam is present in this world 
as Imam al Nas, uh, which is Imam of the Humanity, and Imam of uh, Imam al Muttaqeen, which is Imam, the, Imam of the Righteous. And that is for the true moment. So the uh, so one end of the rope is with the God Allah, and the other is to the moment, which basically is like ex it's extending from the supreme throne, and then coming down towards the earth. The earth is the um, is the moment, right? Um, and only that moment, who is willingly seeking the knowledge, the true knowledge, can see the rope or the light of in of the intellect. So rope in this verse equals to Imam, but only those who have um, given their bayat to Imam. So as a smiley, we are very fortunate that uh, we have taken the bayat of Imam and we don't have to search for the Imam of the time. Um, the knowledge of the Quran and nur of the Imamat is how this rope is united, um, which is same. Even um, even the Quran is for everyone, but the only the true meaning and the true understanding it is given through the by the nur of Imam. So only way we can be united, where it says, you know, you became brethren and you were on the brink of the pit. So that unitedness comes through the Imam when you you know when we are united with Imam, um, and those who are disunited, they are the pit of fire right they will become united so this is my little version of the gist of this verse sorry if i did anything wrong but that's it shukramala so we are united by the farman bradari of the imam Subhanallah. very good job subhanallah subhanallah nazis will request um zinat saiba to come forward with Surah 33, Ayat 46. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ali Allah, Madat Farma. Roshan Charag, Chatti Dalil, Chapter 33, Ayat 46, uh, Tarjuma. E Nabi, Hamne Apko Gawa, or or Khuda ki taraf uske hukum se bulane wala or Roshan chara bana kar bheja hai. Na chiz ki samaj mein jo aya hai is ayat se wo ye ke is ayat mein Allah Taala ne Ahazat Sallam ko mukhatib ho kar farmate hain ke maine tumhe gawa bana kar bheja hai aur khush khabri dene wala aur darane wala. To is mein khush khabri ka zikar inhone pehle diya. पहले आया है इस आयत में और डराने की बात बात में आई है तो नबूवत के जमाने में प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद और उसके बाद इमामत के जमाने में इमा अलैहिस्सलाम की ये ड्यूटी रही है अपने अपने जमाने में और ये फर्ज है उनमें से कि वो लोगों को डराए अगर फॉर एग्जांपल अगर तुम ऐसा नहीं करते हो तो तुम पर मुश्किलें आएगी جیسے حضرت امام آقا سلطان محمد شاہ صلوات اللہ علیہ نے فرمایا ہے اپنے فرمان میں کہ اگر تم بندگی میں بیٹھو گے تو تم کو نور حاصل ہوگا یعنی اگر تم بیٹھو گے تو نور حاصل ہوگا اگر نہیں بیٹھو گے تو نور حاصل نہیں ہوگا اس کے بعد اس آیات میں حضرت سلم نے خدا کے ایک ہونے کی گوائی بھی دی ہے کہ لا الہ الا اللہ اللہ کے سوا کوئی اور اللہ نہیں ہے یعنی خدا کے سوا کوئی اور خدا نہیں ہے تو جو لوگ اس حکم کو قبول کرتے ہیں تو ان کو جنت کی خوشخبری دی جاتی ہے اور جو لوگ اس گواہی سے انکار کرتے ہیں وہ دوزک میں جائیں گے اسی طرح اگر ایک ٹرو مومن مومن سالک سمجھ کر ٹرو علم کی مدد سے اس حقیقت کے رستے پر سمجھ کے چلتا ہے تو ان پر خدا کی رحمتیں نازل ہوتی ہے اور یہ ان کے لئے خوشخبری ہے کہ وہ علم الیقین کی مدد سے حقیقت کے رستے پہ چلتے ہیں جب مومن حقیقت کے رستے پہ چلتا ہے تو وہ حقیقی علم کی مدد سے اللہ کے نور کے بہت سے سروپ یعنی کانسپٹ آف مینیفیسٹیشن کو سمجھ جاتا ہے کہ خدا کے بہت سے روپ ہے یعنی نبوت کے ٹائم پہ پروفیٹ محمد خدا کے نور یعنی روشن چراغ تھے 
اور آج کے زمانے میں امامت کے زمانے میں زمانے کا امام حاضر و موجود روشن چراغ ہے اور خدا کا نور مظہر ہے اس آیت سے یہ سمجھ میں بھی آتا ہے کہ روشن چراغ یعنی نور الہی ہر زمانے میں حاضر و موجود ہوتا ہے سلسلہ نور اللہ نور یعنی ہمیشہ سے جاری و ساری ہے یعنی کہ یسٹرڈے واز دا لائٹ واز پروفٹ محمد اینڈ ہی گیو اس دا نالج آف تنزیل اینڈ ناؤ دا ٹائم آف امامت دا امام آف دا ٹائم گیو اس دا تابلی نالج یعنی روشن چراغ سے مراد یہ ہے کہ نور روشن چراغ یعنی نور سے مراد یہ ہے کہ امام کی گائیڈنس امام کی نالج ان کی وزڈم ان مومنوں کے لیے خوشخبری ہوگی جو اس ٹرو پات پر حقیقی نالج کے ساتھ چلیں گے اور جو نہیں چلیں گے وہ زمانے کے امام کے نور سے دور ہو جائیں گے شکر اللہ الحمد للہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ آپ نے جو ہے وہ انگلش اور اردو دونوں میں کیا کیا بات ہے آپ کی ماشاء اللہ گڈ جاب گڈ سمری جی سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ یہاں سے نہ چیز کی گزارش ہے کریمہ دیو جی صاحبہ سے کہ وہ کم فارورڈ فور سورہ فورٹی تھری آئی فور بسم اللہ چیپٹر فورٹی تھری ورس فور ویرلی اٹ از دا مدر آف دا بک وتھ اس علی دا وائز دس ورس از دا فورتھ پروف آف امامت ان دا قرآن When Quranic verses were revealed to the Prophet, he was physically present to help people understand the meanings and guide them. Since there is no defect in the religion of Islam and Allah is just, he has ensured that there will always be a guide after the Prophet. And for us, that is the Imams of the time. The Imams guide us through their light in the form of firmans and tawil or inner meanings of verses of the Quran. The mother of the book is Umul Kitab, and the Umul Kitab is exalted and full of wisdom. In the Hadith, Prophet Muhammad said, Ali is with the Quran and the Quran is with Ali. When Imam Jafar Sadiq was once asked, who is the Umul Kitab? We thought it was the Surah Al-Fatiha. Imam Jafar Sadiq said, Umul Kitab is Mawla Ali. The Imam, Umul Kitab, and Surat Al-Fatiha are one and the same. Pir Nasir Kusro in his Wajih then further says that in Zahir, the Umul Kitab is Surat Al-Fatiha, but in Batin, it is Mawla Ali. Also, Mawla Ali has said, I am the guarded tablet, or Lohi Mefuz. And we have learned that everything is written on the guarded tablet which is Ali himself. Therefore, in Ali's light, everything exists. In other words, everything, including the spiritual forms of the verses of the Holy Quran, are encompassed in the personal world of the Imam. The guarded tablet is another name for Umul Kitab, which we now know is Surat Al-Fatiha, which is in the Quran as well as our Dua. At the Zahiri level, These are physical words and books, but in Batin, the Umul Kitab is the guarded tablet, which is the Imam himself. In Nasir Kusru's book of history, he explains this verse as follows, quote, and indeed it is the mother of the book with us, Ali, who is the wise. Lastly, Imam Jafar Sadiq said, Surah Fatiha is Mawla Ali, and Mawla Ali said, He is the dot on the Bay of Bismillah, which starts the Surah and Quran itself. Therefore, we see through this Quranic verse, 43 by 4, the Prophet's Hadith, the Firmans of Mawla Ali and Imam Jafar Sadiq, that the Imam is evident and with the Quran and is the mother of the book. This is how we see this verse to prove um, Imam is with Quran and Quran is with Imam, or Ali is Quran and Quran is Ali. That was my understanding. Yeah, I'm with that. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Primal. Subhanallah, subhanallah. What you said last in the end, that is it. That was the key point which you mentioned. So good job. Beautiful. Thank you. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Um, Nancy's ki guzari shay. Anila sahiba say. Anila sahiba is online. Okay. Can I request Gulzar sahiba to come forward? Yali madad. Yali madad. Surah Fatir ayat Surah 35 ayat 32. And uh, my proof, seventh proof, inheritance of the heavenly book. Bismillahir uh, Rahmanir Rahim. Then we have given the book for inheritance to such of our servants as we have chosen. But there are among them some who wrong their own souls, some who follow a middle course, some who are by Allah's leave foremost in good deeds that is the highest grace so i am trying by my topic taid himmat yari iske andar sabse pehle jo farmaya gaya hai ki we have given the book to the book ki jo meri samajh hai jo baima se maine sikha hai ki the book जब हम बोलते हैं तो it's not just a zahiri book और zahiri किताब but it is like a book with its knowledge and wisdom क्योंकि कुरान शरीफ में दो तरह की सुराए है कि एक clear है और एक symbolic है मुझ, मुझे एक, मतलब वो terms नहीं आ रहे बाय मैं हेल्प करना बाद में तो वो जो clear आयाते हैं जो भी वो भी समझना मुश्किल है तो जो सिंबॉलिक है हिडन है वो जो उसका बातीन या उसका तावील एसेंस समझना तो मतलब एक किसी के लिए भी पॉसिबल नहीं है अनलेस कि वो किताब जिसकी है जैसे कि अगर हम एक लॉजिकल एग्जांपल लेके जिसने वो बुक लिखी होती है जो राइटर होते हैं एक्जेक्टली exactly उसको सही पता होता है कि वो हमको क्या बताना चाह रहे या समझाना चाह रहे तो वैसे ही कुरान शरीफ जो है उसको समझना है तो वो अल्लाह ताला की किताब है तो या तो हम अल्लाह से समझ सकते जो डायरेक्टली हमारे लिए इंपॉसिबल है क्योंकि अल्लाह का जो नूर है वो तो नूर ए मुजरत है उसके उस तक तो हम कभी पहुंच ही नहीं सकते तो अल्लाह को अगर हमको वो किताब को कुरान शरीफ को समझना है तो हमको नबी साहब जो जिनके ऊपर ये किताब उतरी थी या उनके वसी हजरत अली अलैहि वसल्लम के थ्रू ही हम इसको समझ सकते हैं यानी कि इमाम ऑफ द टाइम तो जब इसके लिए हदीस है नबी साहब की कि हजरत अली को उन्होंने फरमाया था कि आप मेरे भाई हो और आप मेरे वसी हो तो जो इनहेरिटेंस का इसके अंदर जो पॉइंट है कि बुक जो है वो इनहेरिटेंस में मैंने दी है मेरे चूजन अमंग द सर्वेंट्स जो चूजन है तो वो इमाम पहले प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम थे और फिर वो इमाम हजरत अली और उनकी प्रोजेनी तो वो हाजिर इमाम है तो मैं एक और लॉजिक पॉइंट बोलना चाहूंगी कि जब हमारे पास कोई बहुत ही कीमती चीज होती है तो हम वो किसको लीगेसी देते हैं वो हम अपने बच्चों को लीगेसी या अपनी फैमिली में जो हमको सबसे प्यारा होता है उसको हम लीगेसी देते हैं तो सबसे प्यारा इज अहले बैत तो नबी साहब की फैमिली तो यहां पे जो इनहेरिटेंस इनको दी गई है जो चूसन वन है वो है अगेन हजरत अली अलैहि सलाम उनकी प्रोजेनी हाजर इमाम और एक और इसके बाद जो इसके अंदर सूरा बाय मैंने समझाई थी कि 3254 के हजरत इब्राहिम पैगंबर और हजरत इस्माइल की प्रोजेनी में से ही चूसन वन है और उनको ये किताब की विजडम और नॉलेज दी गई है so, ये मेरी समझ है भाई माँ थैंक यू याली मदद शुक्रा निल्ला अब अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह सुभान अल्लाह सुभान अल्लाह सुभान अल्लाह आपने अपने अल्फाज में समझाया इट वाज ब्यूटीफुल वेरी गुड जॉब वेरी गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू भाई सुभान अल्लाह सुभान अल्लाह 
यहाँ से नाचीज की रिक्वेस्ट है शबीरा साहबा से कि शी कैन कम फॉरवर्ड विद वर्ष Okay, so I'm going to discuss this verse. This is this verse was discussed in the Holy Quran, the Light of Imamat, on the chapter on the Speaking Book. Um, and the verse in that book says, "And with us is a book, if it speaks the truth, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly." Now, if you were to look at the Yusuf Ali transliteration, it doesn't talk about "and with us is a book." It just says, "No soul." Do we place a burden greater than it can bear? Before us is a record which clearly shows the truth. They will never be wrong, wronged. And as I looked at the different transliterations, um, the only thing that seemed to change, the first line was always the same. No soul do we place a burden greater than it can bear. Um, before is a record which clearly either shows the truth, they will never be wrong or speaks the truth. Okay, so um, when I looked at this, of course, I looked at it in, in context of the other two verses that were a part of this chapter, which is 1711 and 26 to 14, although I'll speak to mostly 2362. Um, but really, you need to look at all three to really get the depth of this verse. Is um, It's really about the day of resurrection, right? Because we are being told that we will be judged. And there will be a recording, but um, God is just. So it's about divine justice and divine guidance. And um, a book alone cannot be just, right? So we are told that the book speaks. And in, in, in relationship to 1711, where he says, and with us is a book, and Molana Ali's hadith, where he puts the book on his head and says, speak. So putting all this together, we know that Allah in his mercy and Rama, he has always throughout time sent an imam with the prophet, right? So this concept of Natik and Vasira. And so putting all that together, we know that, um, that the guidance and mercy is sent in the form of the Quran and the imam because man is a rational soul and of imperfect intelligence. And the only person who can fill in the holes and explain the Quran and put it in the context of our time, because there are so many forces that change over time. So some of what's in the Quran is relevant to that time. This Quran was written in the Meccan period when there was a lot of conflict. And it's how do you resolve the conflict so that we commit, uh, we don't commit sins, we, we do well. And so with that, we know that um, there is the living Imam who is perfect intelligence, a click And um, in order for us to see the Tawili aspect of the deeper knowledge within the Quran, um, we have to be also for Mambadari and practice the Isma Azam. Because the Quran is a living Quran and we are living beings. And if our, vest, if our vessel is not clean, then we are also not going to have the nur shine through to us. So um, I'm going to leave this, summarize it as um, the imam of the time helps us with limited intellect come close to the nur. And this um, happens when we read the Quran with the deep inner eye. And through this process of searching knowledge and practice of the faith, our deeds, we will be able to see the inner, inner meaning of the Quran. And, you know, um, I'd like to say at the end that Prophet Muhammad's hadith that Ali is with the Quran and Quran is with Ali and will not be separated till the day of judgment. It all sort of ties together. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Shabira. Wonderful job. You've really explained it very beautifully. And actually, you have also mentioned in a way that there is much more to learn. This is just a beginning yeah. of these verses. There's much more to learn. So beautiful job, Subhanallah. Thank you. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Um, Nachi's key request have to uh, Anila Saiba to come forward. Yeah, limited. Um, 
we going to review uh, or I'm going to review the Quranic verses 5 uh, to 15, which is um, Surah Maida. And uh, the verse are Qad, Qad ja'akum minallahi nuram wa kitabun mubin. Um, in this verse, um, there, uh, the meaning is there has come to you from Allah the light and the perpetuous book. So um, basically what it means that the Quran and the chain of Imamat is with Quran and Quran is with uh, Mala Ali. So these two things again have been referred in this verse that Quran and Imam Ali, which is Quran is the Tanzil, which is the Zahir, which was revealed by Prophet Muhammad, who was a Natik who brought the Quran and, and gave it to Imam Ali, which is Imam Ali is the Batin and Tawil of the Quran. So all the, um, when, when we are given the Holy Quran and uh, we learn the Quran, not by just saying it's for verses, but understanding the, um, the Quran in reference to the Imam Farman, uh, that's how we get the treasures of Quran. And then in uh, this verse, uh, Mola Ali is the key to Quran, which means that we have to understand the Tabil, the Magas, the essence, the Batin. When we enter the Quran with Mola Ali's name and recognition, which is Iman on Imam, then uh, we reach the destination, which is Asal Mevasil. Uh, just like um, the Quran and the Noor is not separable, so um, we have uh, we have to uh, understand the Zahir, the physical form, is the door, which is to Batin, which means Quran um, is the key and with imam farman bardari of imam then we enter the quran with his name that means that we recognize the imam through this quranic verses with the tawilat um, is given by the imam so basically imam is the teacher to quran and nur and the book is always together we need the light of imam to see and understand the quran so that's why um, uh, this verse uh, has a lot of meaning and um, so there are um, some who um, who have lack of knowledge. That means that they um, that they understand the Quran, but they don't follow the tawilat, ta which is um, the understanding. Um, they don't get to the um, to the uh, to the um, to the spirituality um, and without his nur and guidance it is impossible so imam is just like a son whose light is needed for our spirituality and without his nur and guidance it is impossible to get the knowledge very good explanation very beautifully you share the example too and then explain it beautifully Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Nachi's ki guzari shay. Kareem sahib say to come forward. Bismillah, Kareem. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Uh, I will be covering uh, proof ten, uh, and this is about Surah two, ayats one twenty eight and one twenty nine. Uh, both of the ayats are actually prayers of Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail. And in the first ayat, uh, Surah 2, 128, uh, uh, when the presentation comes up, uh, you will see that the actual translation uh, does not really make much sense uh, because the Sunni scholars really don't understand anything about the Imam. And hence, uh, it doesn't really make much sense. So the tawil of this uh, ayat is that Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail, uh, Hazrat Ibrahim being the Natik prophet and uh, his son, the Asas Imam, uh, their prayer is, our Lord, make us submitters to you and make our progeny a submitting community to you by true obedience. Uh, if we look at the transliteration, 
uh, we see the word uh, umatan muslima this means the community of the pure imams uh, hence uh, the progeny of the hazrat ibrahim and hazrat ismail uh, and as we know that uh, the line of the mustakar imams uh, began with hazrat ibrahim and hazrat ismail uh, if we look at the uh, second ayat, which is uh, 2 129, uh, the Sunni scholars have made a better job of this because it refers to the uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad, and the uh, translation is our Lord and raise up in them, i.e., this is the Muslim Ummah. A messenger from among them who shall recite to them your verses and teach them the book and the wisdom and purify them indeed you are the mighty the wise uh, in this prayer Hazrat uh, Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail are actually asking God to send down uh, the Holy Prophet so he may teach the Muslim Ummah the wisdom of the book and purify them so they may elevate their souls now, as we know, both of these uh, prayers have been answered by Allah. And the lineage of the Mustakar Imams continues to this day and will continue until the day of resurrection. Now, uh, we also uh, looked at what the Imams are as such. So we know that firstly, the Imams are uh, Wasat. Uh, the intermediary between the Ummah and the, the, the Prophet and, and Allah. Uh, and they are also Shahid, uh, that is witness and present over the people. And they guide the people uh, by being present with them. Uh, there are lots of other ayats that were also mentioned in the proof, but I haven't covered those because I was just uh, focusing on these two particular ayats. Uh, so in terms of how do these uh, ayats actually mean to us as such? How do they apply to us? And as you will know, uh, in the Farman made by Molana Sultan Muhammad Shah, uh, he mentioned in his Usul al-Din Farman that the Jamaat can also reach such spiritual heights by submitting and by true obedience to the Imam of the time. Obviously, this is not an easy task, but the path is available to every one of us, uh, every one of the Imam's murids, to truly submit and obey and hopefully merge into the nur of the Imam. Shukran. Wow. Thank you. SubhanAllah, beautiful job. Can you imagine that you are now able to see how Sunni scholars making mistake in translation and how Shia scholars translating? We are able to distinguish and we don't even know Arabic. But just because of Imam's mercy, we are able to do that. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Nati Sikh Guzari Shah, Shafina Sahib Asik, to come forward. Nadi Madhuk, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I'm going to cover proof number two, uh, proof and manifest light. So this is uh, uh, Surah 4, Ayat 174. And in some books, it might be 175. So there's some confusion around that one. But uh, you know, we'll go with 174. All mankind, indeed a proof, i.e. a miracle of the Quran, has come to you from your Lord. And we have sent a manifest light to you. So uh, a lot of uh, this was already covered with respect to 515 and 3346. But uh, I'll just read iterate some of it here. The word Burhan, if you look at the transliteration there, refers to the Quran. Um, and it also means logical proof. Um, and the and Nuran Mubin, which uh, it, it translates to manifest light, but Mubin also means to speak and uh, also refers to path. So in our tariqa, um, the imam is uh, considered the speaking Quran or the Quran in Natik. And the book, the physical book, is considered 
Quran is Samit or the silent book. Um, and um, as was discussed uh, uh, previously in 515, in order to understand the Tawilat of the Quran, we need the light of the Imam. The Natik or Prophet Muhammad brought to us the Tanzil of the Quran, but to obtain the Tawili or the Bathni understanding of the Quran and some of the allegorical or, or parable uh, related verses, uh, which are called the Mutashabia um, of the Quran, we need the Imam's guidance and his light. Um, as is mentioned in, in, even in the Constitution, I think we covered that at one point, that the Imam's Nur guides the Murid on the path. And uh, as was mentioned earlier, the Hadith et where it says that uh, the Prophet is leaving behind him the Quran and his progeny, because both are needed, the book and the manifest light of the Imam, so in order for us to progress on, on the path. And with walayat or love for the imam, uh, then we can get the hakikat, the understanding uh, of the, the Quran. One of the sayings that we might have covered in the past is that uh, the prophet is the door of knowledge and Ali is the key. Only those who have the key, that is the guidance of the imam of the time, uh, are able to open the door. That's it for me. Shukram Allah. SubhanAllah, beautiful job, Shabina. Beautiful, SubhanAllah. Ji. The last one, Nazis will cover it um, in short. So the worst um, is Surah 3, Ayat 7. Um, it talks about Rasikun fil il. Um, we already heard from a lot of friends about Muhkamat and Mutashabihat. So muhkamat are the clear verses, like um, for an example where it says, remember Allah uh, while um, sitting, uh, laying down. Um, so this is like a very clear verse, what is being told to us for us to do. So those are called muhkamat, where clear instructions are provided in the book, uh, where we don't need anyone to explain, but to follow. The second is mutashabihat. Mutashabihat are um, allegorical or unspecified. Um, you know, there are different words for it, but mostly everyone uses allegorical. Where the words are there, you understand the word, but the meanings are, several layers of meanings are behind it. So the perfect verse, which we are all aware of, is um, Surah 25, Ayah 35, Ayah Nur where it talks about Allah's nur as an example of a lamp, right? So we understand the lamp is like a very common use thing. Everybody has it. But when we talk about do we all have Allah's nur, there is meaning behind it. And there's layers of meaning as whoever have even highest level would be like if somebody has who is an Ismaili, who has an Ismail Azam, he has light of Imam also. In generic um, terms, we can always say that we all are part of Allah, like we're all part of Mola, so we all have drop of that nur as well. So there are different layers of tavilat. So those are allegorical verses where we need um, someone to explain us what is the hidden meaning behind it. So in the book, we learned very clearly, Imam Jafar Sadiq said that we are Rasikun fil ilm and we know it's tavil. So Mawla is clearly saying that we are the ones who are Rasikun Filil and we are the only ones who knows the Tawil. One um, very, um, uh, you know, um, very um, important thing to notice that we have this verse where it says, um, as for those in the heart, um, there is deviation, which is unspecific, which is allegorical, seeking discord and seeking an interpretation and no one knows its interpretation except Allah, but those in firm knowledge. So if we review Arabic and which we have covered, Niamat Sahib have covered in several lectures, that the Arabic word is v and wa is or, so we don't usually start the sentence with and. And if you see that they have put period there, right? Full stop. So we need to know that this is not correct. 
Arabic is the original language and we should focus on that. And Allah and Rasikun fil ilm, people who are firm in knowledge. And Mullah says that we are that Rasikun fil ilm, right? Um, and um, Imam Jafar Sadiq have also, also said that if Allah taught the Quran to uh, Prophet Muhammad, and how would it would be that he only gave him Tanzil but not the Taviyah? So we know that a perfect teacher, which God is, if he's a perfect teacher and he made Prophet Muhammad as a Natik, perfect Natik for us, um, so he would have given him Tanzil and Taviyah both. And how we would now understand after 1400 years, if at that time Tanzil and Tawil was available, so in today's time Tanzil and Tawil both should be available. So here we can always refer back to Hadith Asaklan where it says that I'm leaving behind two things. So it's book, which is explaining to us Tanzil, and Tawil, which is the progeny, which is through the Imam of the time, who are Rasik Hunfilun. So that was my understanding. Subhanallah, 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 Qurban, Qurban, MashaAllah. So you guys have done that. So we finished our book and I was like, we don't have anything to discuss. And Naveen Sahaba came with this idea that how about friends would, we can, you know, review and summarize the book so beautifully. You all have done a great job. You've been listening carefully, writing notes, understanding different uh, translations, Sunni's translation and Shia's translations and knowing difficult terms. You all have done a beautiful job, subhanAllah. So we have actually today finished uh, the whole book. So let me just read the summary or epilogue of this book, which says, it has been established from the cogent and detailed proofs, which are mentioned from the beginning to the end of this subject, that the Quran and the light of Imamat are two such sacred things that their existence of knowledge cannot be separated from one another. Their permanent inseparability is from God so that those moments who are blessed with the divine grace may attain the knowledge and wisdom of the Quran in the light of the blessed and sacred firmans of the living and present Imam. The smiley peers and dignitaries of religion did exactly the same. Thus, today we see that their works are full of Quranic wisdoms. Thus, what greater happiness is possible for a community in Tariqa than that their chief is the light of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and Hazrat Ali alayhi salam, the interpreter of the speech of God and the true Imam. Praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the world. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. So Alhamdulillah, you've done a beautiful summary of reviewing all these verses. And I would say today we are very happy that we are finishing second book, which we've been studying. First, we finished uh, What is Soul? And today we have finished this book, The Holy Quran and the Light of Imamat. And I am very pleased to see that in second book, the participation from friends is much, much higher and really, really good. So shukran lillah, walhamdulillah. And inshallah, we will be again meeting if not next week, then the following week, Naveen Sahiba will tell us and we'll start a new book study. Thank you, friends. If you have any comments or questions, you're welcome. I would like to make a comment. It is really good. It feels much, um, much, much better when we are doing a group study and studying a book because um Nazis is very lazy so i don't pick up the book so simply i am truly grateful for all of the friends who actually come regularly and attend the classes because it inspires by looking at each other that we are all learning when friends ask beautiful questions comments it always encourages and we do really appreciate your time that you take to take us on this beautiful journey that we all are actually progressing with you and at least we can say we finished one book so shukram dalilla i am grateful and do want to comment that whoever i texted a um, lot of friends um, were very open to the idea so shukram dalilla it was all due to your prayers
सुभानला सुभानला आपके कदमों की खाक ना चीज सो शिखर मौला शिखर मौला इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू योर प्रेयर्स एंड योर हार्ड वर्क एंड योर विलिंगनेस टू लर्न दैट वी ऑल आर ग्रोइंग टुगेदर इन लर्निंग शुक्र अलहमदिल्ला आई एम एक्साइटेड टू से दैट वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ आर थर्ड बुक रिव्यू शुक्र मौला थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स याली मदद याली मदद याली मदद याली मदद भाई मां थैंक यू सो मच याली मदद याली मदद भाई मां एक कमेंट है भाई जी 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 बिस्मिल सबसे पहले तो बहुत बहुत थैंक यू नेवीन साहब का कि ये आईडिया निकाले क्योंकि मैं हर बार क्वेश्चन तो पूछती हूँ क्योंकि मेरे पे बहुत ऐसा डर रहता है लाइक थोड़ा लैंग्वेज फोबिया भी है लेकिन जब उन्होंने मुझे ये कहा कि मैं कर सकती हूँ तो मैं बहुत डर गई थी पहले जैसे कल भी मैं बोली लेकिन फिर मैंने बोला कि नहीं मैं करूंगी और मैं मैं कर पाई तो आई एम सो फीलिंग हैप्पी बाय माँ और बहुत चीजें टफ लगती थी लेकिन जब आज वापिस पूरा रिवाइज करके उसमें से फिर जब ऐसा पॉइंट बना रही थी तो लगा कि नहीं मैं भी बहुत समझ सकती हूँ और समझ रही हूँ भाई माँ तो उसके लिए बहुत थैंक यू भाई माँ आपका नवीन साहिब का और सब पार्टिसिपेंट्स का क्योंकि मैं एवरी टाइम कुछ ना कुछ पूछते रहती हूँ तो आई डोंट नो लेकिन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी एंड थैंक यू सो मच भाई माँ थैंक यू एवरीबडी थैंक यू आई एम ग्लैड दैट यू आस्क बिकॉज आप पूछते हैं तो बहुत मजा और हमको भी समझ नहीं मिलता है ना एक दूसरे के सवाल से हम ज्यादा सीखते हैं सो थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग Never hesitate. Language does not matter. Tooty footy, जो भी बोलते हैं एक दूसरे को समझते हैं समझाते हैं That's beautiful. You did a beautiful job, Gulzar. So never be feeling bad about languages. We don't care about languages. Our heart speaks, and we understand each other. So do not ever worry about that. Okay? Thank you for participating, and you did a wonderful job. Mubarak. Yali madad. Yali madad. Yali madad. Yali madad. Yali madad. Yali madad. Thank you very much. Uh, mm-hmm. it was really enjoyable today and uh, you know i'm i'm encouraged now for next book uh, you know review i will also participate so aaj sabka sunke i felt so good ke you know sab log itni achhi notes banaye tabhi they can uh, say so um, i will try to next time so this was sure. a very good idea thank you thank you yaari madad yaari madad